Johan Mom from uh, Imagi Mob. My name is Alexander Salmanson. Uh, I'm the CTO and one of three co-founders of Imagi Mob. And uh, I've got more than five years of experience actually building tiny machine learning applications from start of project to uh, commercial launch. And before that, I, I have an extensive software development background and I studied at um, Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, my name is Iwan Mal. Uh, <clears throat> I have a long experience uh, from complex R&D projects in academia and, and industry. Uh, and I'm focusing on the, on the numerical uh, implementation of, of AS, A, A, AI as well as uh, traditional numerical techniques and signal processing. Um, yeah, so... And today we will talk about how we built the first, the world's first gesture-controlled in-ear headphones using tiny machine learning uh, software and radar technology. And at the end of this talk, we will show you a demo of these actual earphones. And this gesture technology works through plastic, hair, dirt, and various challenging environments, and can be applied anywhere where you want touchless controls. But before that, you want to talk a little bit about our partners and how we made this happening. Yes, exactly. Uh, because building radical new products is very hard to do on your own. But if you combine the, the unique specialities among different companies, you can really achieve this. And this is what we have done here. Therefore, I would like to acknowledge our partners in this project, without whom this would not have been possible. And I think it's a truly amazing cooperation between three high tech companies where Aconair manufactures uh, the smallest and most energy efficient radar in the world. Uh, we, uh, Imagine Mob, uh, are providing the, the software. And finally, the OSM group, former Flexworks, is designing and building the actual hardware and audio part. Uh, in this project, we are uh, actually highlighting thing that doing a uh, tiny ML, which is defined as machine learning running on uh, milliwatt uh, devices, both hardware and uh, I mean the sensors and the software are both very important together. Um, and I should say also that that part of this funding comes from ourselves and part comes from the Swedish uh, government agency that founds research and development in Sweden, Vinova. Uh, so, gestures control, encoding information. Uh, the first human language was primarily made up by gestures, and even today, studies uh, claim that between 70 and 90 percent is nonverbal. So, gestures are kind of in our blood and genes. And to create a gesture interface to computers is therefore a natural step in the digital revolution. One of the obvious benefits of encoding information into uh, gestures is the space efficiency. To have the same number of buttons or virtual buttons requires much more space. Uh, the use case we're going to show you today is a very good example of exactly this. So as you once said, by using gesture control, you can pack a lot of functions into a tiny physical space. Um, and we took this to the extreme and put it into one of the smallest devices that you can imagine, an in-ear headphone. And together with our partners, we built real, actual working prototypes that you will soon see in action. And I think that we in the tiny machine learning community, we're thinking of tiny ML as this new young field where a lot of research and experimentation is taking place. And that's very true but it's already reaching the next step where real products solving real problems with the use of this technology are released into the market. And these earphones are a good example as they are not a proof of concept, but actually ready to be mass produced now. And you want me to talk a little about the technical details of these earphones. Exactly. So as you can see in this uh, picture, um... Uh, you, you can see the little radar ship, uh, which is an A, A1 pulse coherent radar 
that runs together with the tiny ML model on, on an STM32 ARM M4 microcontroller. Uh, and the AI model uses roughly uh, 70 kilobytes of RAM and 113 kilobytes of flash. And the inference time is roughly 34 milliseconds from receiving data input until a gesture is classified. And um, yeah, the, the gestures we, we have chosen according to the to the cartoon there. So it's it's a virtual tapping, tap in, tap out, uh, wiggle your hand and, and double tap like. And with these gestures, you can actually control the music player. And the gesture hit rate is over 96%. So as you could hear, we were able to pack a tiny AI model inside of the earphones and achieve the very high accuracy that is needed for a real product. And to get this to work, we needed to collect a lot of data and build and test many models before getting the results that we wanted. And we did this using our own tiny machine learning platform, ImagMob AI, which you can try for free. So using ImagMob AI, first we collected, annotated, and evaluated radar gesture data from a lot of different people. And this data is both complex to visualize and understand, and it has quite a high bandwidth coming from the sensor. So we were able to collect that and visualize that in our tool. And then we tried and tested a lot of different data processing pipelines um, in order to shape the data the way that we wanted it. And then we generated, modified, and trained a lot of deep learning models. And finally, we evaluated our results and tried the best models live in actual earphones, prototypes. And at the end, we managed to get something truly great that you will now see. So your one is now putting these earphones in his ears. And I will show the music player here. You want to put in one more here? Yeah. So, to reiterate, a single tap means play and pause. A double tap means skip to previous. A tap out means skip to next, and a wiggle goes into volume mode. And once in volume mode, a tap ups the volume, and a tap out lowers the volume. So rock on, Johan, do your freestyling here. Okay, thank you very much. Very good. Uh, when can we expect to see these on the market? Have you got OEMs uh, in the pipeline? We are currently discussing with several uh, OEMs. Um, I think we will be able to see this in the market during next year. Okay. Uh, again, just a quick uh, shout out to our sponsors. Bear with me for one minute. We have different categories. We have executive sponsors. First one being ARM. Then we have Qualcomm. We have Samsung, 
Platinum sponsors. Edda Compute. Lattice Semiconductor. Gold sponsors. Brainchip. Babel Labs. DSP Group. Edge Impulse, Emza, Gray Matter Labs, Green Waves, Hymax, Imagimob. Latent AI, Maxim Integrated, Quixo, Reality AI, Sensi ML, Silicon Labs, Sentient, Google TensorFlow, Xmos, and lastly, silver sponsors, Edge Cortex, Hachi, and Synsense.